Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. this DIY request I'll be making a drop down hanging rose hanging lamp if you would like to find out what I created just continue watching to start I'll be using two 20 inch hula hoops and I'll start by removing the wrappers I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below next I'll be cutting off 11 inches on both hula hoops The remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue stick. So I'll glue them back on the connector and I'll close up the hula hoop and I'll repeat the same steps on the second hula hoop. I already had a second hoop on hand from a previous project that I never used and all I did was just cut it down. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. Next, I'll take my long ruler and I'll place four markings. Next, I'll use my soldering iron to make the holes where I place my markings. Next, I took a large skewer and I cut four into seven inches. Next, I'll be applying a generous amount of hot glue in each hole and I'll insert my skewers. Next, I'll be gluing on the second hoop and I'll place markings so I won't lose my placement and then I'll repeat the same gluing steps. I apply more hot glue for an extra hold. Once I was done, I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic silver. For all DIY requests, follow me on Instagram. I'll be using two packs of plastic mirror plates and these come six in a pack and I'll be using eight. Next I'll take my exacto knife and I'll be cutting out the center part starting from the back side and I'll make an incision and then I'll finish the rest with my scissors. These plates do come with a beautiful mirror reflection but of course the camera never does it justice. I repeated the same steps on the remaining seven. I will save what I cut off for future projects because they do come in handy and they are great plates. Next I'll be using two packs of Dollar Tree chopping mats and I'll be cutting them to fit the square part of the plate. I'll have my glue gun at a low temperature setting so it won't melt the chopping mat or the plate while I'll glue them both together. I'll be gluing the rougher side on the outside and the smoother side on the inside. Next I took foam board and I took the lamp base and placed it on top and then I traced it. I 
I'll be using my X-Acto knife to cut it out. Next, I took a long ruler and I needed a center focus point, so I'll be drawing two lines vertical and horizontal. Next, I'll be using this cardboard tubing and I'll place it in the center and then I'll trace my circle. A lot of you always ask me where do I get my tubings and I just save them from my mirror reflection paper or contact paper. Once I was done, I covered it with mirror reflection paper and I also cut out the hole. Next, I'll bring back my plates and I'll start gluing them onto the lamp base. I will glue on the rest side by side, edge to edge, but I had to go off camera to make sure that they come out evenly set in place. Once I was done, I'll bring back my board and I'll glue it on top of the lamp base, making sure that the mirror part is facing down. Next, I'll take a sheet of poster board and red glossy contact paper and I'll cover the poster board with the contact paper on both sides and I'll do the same with my reflection paper. I downloaded a rose petal stencil which I'll have linked below with three different sizes and I started tracing them on top of the red contact paper and also I traced them on top of the mirror reflection paper as well. I use eight of each color, but this will depend on how big you would like your rows to be. I'll be applying them from smallest to largest, and before I apply them, I'll just give them a bend just to have a curve, and I'll take my long tubing that I already wrapped with mirror reflection paper, and I'll apply glue in the center and just start gluing them from there. When applying the second rose petal, apply the hot glue around the sides only, and when you apply it to the tube, do not press it against it, just on the sides. As you continue adding the petals, you'll see the rose start forming itself and coming to life. So I'll be using five spray can lids and five LED remote touch lights. I will also be using five foam board cutouts. I'll apply hot glue on the foam board, then glue on the touch light, and then add more glue on the bottom of the foam board and place it inside the lid. You still have room to twist the touch light off when batteries need to be replaced, and I repeated the same steps on the rest. Here I'm just placing them inside the lamp base until I'm satisfied with the placements, and then I'll be gluing them down. For the rose stem, I'll apply hot glue on the bottom tip until it's filled in. I took two large paper clips and glued them together in a vertical and horizontal position. I took a plant hanging chain and spray painted metallic silver, and then I'll take it and attach it to the top part of the lamp base. I lost the clip where I made the holes with my soldering iron. Next, I took the rose stem and slide it through the hole, and then I glued on my paper clip and this will hold the rose in place when it's hanging down. And here is the finished look. This is such a stunning and beautiful lamp, and it's very unique. I could have glammed it out more, but the person that requested it for her home wanted the rose to be the focus point. It took all my strength to continue holding back from adding glam to it, but the person that ordered it 
is a client of mine, and at the end of the day, I am still satisfied with the results. And let's not forget the beautiful light in this speaks for itself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.